Let's bring him in. Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. And a good morning to Marshall. Good morning, everybody. You feeling any better? A little bit. You know, still have the cold. Uh, but the, I have to push on, Marshall. That's you it. You know, there's, there's no rest for the weary. No, it's, yeah, it's a good thing there's a thing called Kleenex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, there's just too much going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, wrong time to get it to get a cold, I just got to keep going. So um, uh, partly cloudy is being optimistic today. I think it's mostly cloudy. And we'll get some snow showers coming in this afternoon. I know You notice I put in there some accumulation. Yeah. I'm thinking that, you know, the higher elevations will probably pick up an inch. Uh, elsewhere, uh, more or less a cover. Okay. And the highs today, 35 to 40. Now, it's a front. It's not a storm. Any snow will end early this evening, clearing skies 20 to 25. Sunny to partly cloudy, brisk and cold for Saturday, low 30s. Saturday night's going to be real cold. Uh, many places, 10 to 15. Uh, some of our deeper valleys will be in the single numbers. So if you wake up Sunday morning and you say, wow, it's cold, it is going to be cold. But we'll have a sunny day, 35 to 40. Now, a storm in California will head for the Great Lakes. We will be on the mild side of it. As the mild air works in on Monday, we will have rain. The rain could begin in the early hours of Monday morning and some freezing rain. Otherwise, it's mainly rain, 45 to 50. Tuesday, more rain in the 50s. Now, get this. Here's this storm dragging the cold front our way next Tuesday. We're going to be 55 to 60 degrees with rain. Yeah. Minnesota, lucky to get to zero. That is how cold it will be behind the front, which leads me to suspect that uh, when that cold front next week passes through here, we probably will not get away without getting a little snow out of that as well. And then, you know, again, much, much colder weather. So that's how it shapes up. Our computer models do not take us yet to Christmas Day, they take us to the 21st. Uh, so that is the weekend before Christmas. And at that point, they're just saying it's fair and cold. Now, if that cold front comes through and does bring some snow, what, what day would that be around? That would be probably late Tuesday, Tuesday night. Not next week, the weekend. Yes. Or next the week, late, oh, really? Next week, yeah. Yep. Measurable snow? I don't think I don't think it'll be measurable. The problem is because it was so mild and wet ahead of it. Yeah. The cold front comes through, it changes the snow, the temperatures drop. You get you get uh, brown, you know, uh, you get ice. Yeah. That's the problem there. If it's a flash freeze, so we'll just have to watch and see how that plays out. I will be here Monday, as you know. I'll be here Tuesday to uh, greet all of that. AJ will be here on Monday. Um, as you know, I go to Warwick uh, tomorrow uh, to pick up the tree, get the tree, pick it out. Hopefully I'll get one. Uh, and then Sunday, I'm in the city, uh, starting at 12 noon and going into Sunday night, shooting this damn movie that never ends. Now, uh, the good thing about Saturday is that there's so much in our area going on. We have uh, the Lakeville, uh, at the Lakeville Host Company, the Salisbury Winter Sports Association, having their ski and skate swap. Uh, that's going on. Also going on uh, is there's a lot of these what they call holiday bazaars, uh, one going on at Gear, another one I think going on in Copic and Ankrum as well. Um, so there's a lot of different things going on uh, on Saturday. Uh, the big wrap-up to the Noble Horizons uh, Festival of Trees, and then they have the, the party on, on Saturday evening. So there's a lot going on on Saturday, and even a few things on Sunday. Um, but uh, Saturday looks like it's, if you love wintertime and you like Christmas, it sounds like it's going to be, because we'll still have, uh, I think we'll still have snow on the ground, so you'll feel just like you're in Christmas time. That's it. And I mean, you know, yeah, it'll be cold. It's not going to be freezing cold. Uh, it'll be cold. It'll be like in the mid thirties, but um, you know that's pretty much how it was yesterday. It's yeah, it pretty much yes how it'll be today. But it, yesterday was windy. Yeah, it was. It was a lot, a lot windier than I expected. Yeah. Yesterday was windy, and it's not windy this morning. So I'm hoping that the wind doesn't pick up today. Well, it will with the front. 
Boo. So there'll be a little bit of wind. Boo. It shouldn't be as bad as yesterday. Hey, yesterday, uh, I can always tell when there's wind, wind before I leave the house and if I'm listening to the station, because our STL, uh, has it, it, it shoots a path that has a, a, got very little room for error through a bunch of big trees, okay? Uh, 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 you know, uh, evergreen trees you know, that, that don't lose their leaves. And when it's windy, those trees sway back and forth. And when they sway back and forth and occasionally get in the path of our studio to transmitter link, you get a, a swishing sound. Oh. <laughs> so I always know when the wind is above. When wind gusts are above, it only happens when wind gusts are right around 20 miles an hour. Up until that point, uh, the trees don't move that much. But around 20, if they're strong enough gusts, they move enough. And the wind's got to be in the right direction. Uh, if it's a north-south wind... It doesn't affect it much, but if it, it's if it's a wind that comes in from the west, mm -hmm. uh, it moves the tree much more in the direction of our of our signal. But if people ever hear that, they're listening to the radio, and then they hear like a whoosh, and then a sudden drop in audio and comes back up. It's a big pine tree <laughs> moving in the wind. Well, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, and the wind is very important here in the northeast yeah. uh, because it'll make or break the day. Yeah. Uh, you know that. Um yeah, and I'm kind of hoping it's not too windy tomorrow. Uh, you know, we get there uh, to that tree farm. Uh, you know, you're climbing. Uh, you know, it's not, don't think, it, you know, don't think it's a nice little flat little area where you just like, you know, uh, skip along. You know, you're in dirt. I mean, and no, uh, you'll be in snow. Yeah. You'll be in snow. Uh, I was just going to say, there's probably going to be a little snow on the mm -hmm. ground there. So we got to wear the boots. And just hopefully, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm lucky and uh, I walk in. And I see the tree that I like almost in the front, you know, and I said, this is great. Other times, like last year, hours of walking through, you know, all this tree farm, trying to find the tree. And then we found the tree, as you recall. Um, it was uh, it was big enough to put a Rockefeller Center. Um, and, you know, the guy cut it down for us uh, because its branches didn't start. Uh, until it was like 10 or 11 feet above the ground. So uh, he cut it down, and he had to cut the stump, but even that, it was just much too big. And uh, I had to trim it and trim it and trim it. So I'm hoping to find something a little bit more my size and uh, not not be as uh, fussy uh, tomorrow. And also, I don't have uh, my other two friends with me, which are worse than me. Uh, so... Uh, we should do that. And in the meantime, I see we're out of time. Folks, have a great weekend. And Marshall, I'll be back with Bells on on Tuesday.